I'm Carlton. And I'm Steph. In October of last year, we visited Japan for the first time. We visited Tokyo, Hakone, Osaka, Yokohama, and more. Stay tuned for a multi part video series documenting our trip to the other side of the world. The first destination for our 10 day trip is Tokyo. We departed from Dulles Airport in Virginia and flew with United Airlines non stop to Haneda Airport. We plan to make another video later going into the details of the costs for our trip. We were able to use credit card points to cover a large portion of our airfare and accommodations. Months prior to our trip, we both got global entry so security was a breeze. We highly recommend this for U.S. citizens. We decided to travel with carry-on only luggage. Not only did this make getting around planes, trains, and buses easier, but there was no risk of the airline losing our luggage. We plan to make a video detailing the bags we use and what we pack. Dulles to Haneda is about a 13 to 14 hour flight. We opted to upgrade to United Premium Plus seats, which offer more legroom and a few more amenities that made the flight more enjoyable. The food on the flight was decent for airline food. We were served one dinner meal and one breakfast meal and snacks along the way.
Landing in Japan was quite the surreal experience for both of us. This was our first time in Japan. It was fascinating to think that we were really on the other side of the world. Customs and immigration at Haneda Airport was quite smooth and we made our way to our hotel using public transportation. Before you leave the airport, be sure to get a JR Rail Pass for inner city bullet trains and a Suica card for the use on the subway. chose to stay at the Loft Tokyo Ginza by Marriott. This is a very nice hotel in the heart of many shops and restaurants. We'll include a room tour at the end of the video. On our first night in Tokyo, we walked around just to take in all the sights and sounds of Japan. That's a crow. This is like Times Square, but like a hundred times better. Yeah. It's clean. Uh, maybe. This is kind of like city center of DC. I guess Shibuya is probably more like Times yeah, Square. I think we should cross right here. Look at that Tokyo Plaza. Tokyo Plaza. We opted to go to Shake Shack for dinner on our first night since we were familiar with that from back home.
Ginza is a very clean and modern city with many, many luxury stores on every corner. Ended the night by stopping at Lawson's to get some water and snacks. Convenience stores in Japan are much, much nicer than those back home in the States. Next morning, we took the subway to the Shibuya city area for breakfast at an excellent breakfast spot called Ivy Place. We're in the middle of Meguro and Shinjuku. Yeah, any sound fitness? <laughs> What's that smell? It's like food burning.
After breakfast, we figured out how to use a scooter and e-bike sharing app called Loop. This is similar to Lime scooters in the United States. These scooters and bikes came in really handy throughout Japan. You can tap. Oh, it only takes pause now? Take it again, because it went off. Our next stop is Shinjuku Goyan National Garden, which has some famous shrines and shaded walking trails.
After that, we explored the Shibuya area and stopped in a few shopping stores. We really enjoyed the many side streets in this area and throughout Japan. recording. Which is near here. As the sun started to set, we had to experience the famous Shibuya crossing. Seemingly endless amounts of people crossed the intersection every few minutes. This was definitely a great experience. Yes, it 
The next day, we set our sights on Asakusa, an older, more historic part of Tokyo. Coffee shop right here.
After a quick breakfast at Starbucks, we made our way to Sensoji Temple, which was bustling with people. Not long after that, we did a matcha tea ceremony, which we reserved prior. This was one of the many highlights of our trip. This is um, like taller. Oh. After the tea ceremony, we hopped back on the loop e-bikes and explored the Asakusa neighborhoods. The side streets were seemingly endless in this quieter part of Tokyo. lunch, we stopped at a tonkatsu chicken restaurant. The chicken was slightly oily for our tastes, but this was a great experience and they were very hospitable.
Ya. The final stop for the day was Tokyo Sky Tree, which is one of the tallest structures in the world and offers amazing views of all of Tokyo. After visiting Tokyo Sky Tree, we stopped at a Mexican restaurant called Mucho, which was very lively and had great food. Here's a quick room tour of the Aloft Tokyo Ginza Hotel by Marriott. So we spent a few nights at this hotel in Tokyo, and similar to other hotels in populous cities like New York, you know, the hotel rooms are not very large, but it has everything you need. So there's a small closet area, a place for shoes and a safe, a pretty good sink, uh, and then a shower and toilet area here. So we were pleasantly surprised, you know, to see in Japan that they have in the hotels a lot of these nice toilets with bidets, heated seats, things like that. So this particular hotel, it had one of those, uh, you know, rain shower heads. Uh, they had soap and shampoo available as well, but, you know, we brought some of our own too. So here's the bed. I think it's a queen-size bed, you know. Just enough space to get by, a uh, smart TV with Japanese channels, so that was pretty cool to see. There's a small fridge, uh, you know, some complimentary water and tea. And this room did have somewhat of a view, uh, you know, just of the city streets below of the Ginza area. During our last stay in Tokyo, we stopped for breakfast before taking our first Shinkansen bullet train to ride to Hakone. Mm -hmm. Many of the train stations in Japan are quite massive, but we were able to navigate without much trouble. The Japanese bullet trains definitely live up to the hype. We elected to get a green car reservation pass where the seats are slightly heavier. So, do we know what track it is? Let's see. Nineteen is straight.
Why does it say 638 on the screen? Keep going. Once we boarded the train and settled in, we made our way to Hakone, which is the topic of our next video. Yeah, barely.